This is my album 10. 10 is really special to me. This is my fourth full album. I released my very first album in 2009 and got to release my first EP, I think, in 2007. So 10 is like a celebration of 10 years of doing music. When I was seven years old, I was listening to like my mom's tapes and I had found this live tape of this Japanese folk singer called Iruka. As I was listening to the show and imagining what it would be like, I was like, this is what I want to do with my life. And so I went to mom and I was like, mom, mom, I want to be a singer. And <laughs> I, I wasn't a very naturally gifted <laughs> child. Um, my voice was, you know, my very first singing teacher told me that my voice was too small and that I'd never be a star. And, and I just remember being kind of jealous of singers in high school who were just naturally gifted and had these huge voices. So it's taken me years for me to find my sound and learn to love my own voice and the uniqueness of what it is. It's taken me 10 years to do that, but I'm so, so excited about this collection of songs because it really does reflect the journey. As you can see, this is a very beachy album. The four albums that I've released independently have all been drawn by the same artist, Tommy Kichi, who I love. I love his artwork so much. And each time it's been this girl and uh, it's always a mystery. You never really get to see her face and I kind of love that. And so the first couple of albums, she was just sitting on the beach looking at it. My last album, Rise Above, was her duck diving, getting through the waves. And this one, she's actually surfing. What? Surfing is another thing that I can do that also just takes my mind off music and everything else involved with that. It's even the way that I stand, the way my posture is completely different. You know, when I'm crouched over a guitar and when I'm paddling and surfing um, out in the ocean, it's just almost the complete opposite of my day-to-day -day life. And so I love going out to the ocean. I love spending time at the beach. I love praying at the beach. I just feel so connected to God there. And, and uh, yeah, and so a lot of my songs are inspired by the ocean and they have this very, like the feeling that I get when I'm at the ocean is what I hope you would feel through my songs. So, album 10 is finally out. And I couldn't have done it without my incredibly generous Patreon supporters and Kickstarter supporters. Some of you even visited me in the studio. And even sang on the record. So Keiichi visited us in the studio today. So did you enjoy the studio day? Of course. Yeah. Um, I'm so beyond my expectations. Thank you so much for coming. Thanks for inviting me. And I can't wait for everybody to get to hear the songs. Yay! Thank you for being part of this journey with me. And thank you for sharing photos of the packages that I sent you. It means so much when you share. I'm currently on my way to Japan to tour there. But in the next few weeks, I hope to introduce you to each of the songs on this new album and share some stories about what they mean to me. In the meantime, you can hear the songs on most streaming services and iTunes and my website. So if you haven't already, make sure that you subscribe so that you get all those videos. Hit that little bell button so that you'll get the notification and I'll see you guys soon.